Hey everybody, my name is Sam. And I'm Angela, and welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to the next video in our series of mobile home renovations. We started in our bedroom, we've made our way into the bathroom, and there's no telling where we're going to stop. We left you guys off last time with redoing all the plumbing in the bathroom, the drains, the supply lines, and everything. Mm -hmm. Tell them what we get to do today. So today we are going to get into a little bit of demo. No. And a lot of bit of work on the floor. <laughs> so... <laughs> Let's get her done. Let's go. You totally threw me off. That's not your tagline. I have finished test fitting and cutting and trimming and fitting and trimming the plywood until I'm ready to say yes, it should fit good. So Angela's back behind me. She's putting down the insulation in between the floor joist. As soon as she's done, we will throw this piece of plywood down and see that everything works out great. It lines up with the drain pipe and water line fittings and everything's just wonderful and great. chip plywood. Yeah, really. <laughs> so how's that new floor feel? Nice and sturdy. Sounds good. We're at our stopping point for this evening. We've got the sheet down that covers the entire area the new tub's gonna go in, mm -hmm. plus some more. Our next bit is a little more complicated stuff. We'll probably go through tomorrow all the additional steps we do in here to lay down the plywood, but that's tomorrow. Sit tight though, it's just a few seconds away for you guys. To take the furnace out, we're gonna start by opening the door and then I'm gonna go kill all the power to this with the breakers. I may have to turn off all the power to the house because there's more than one electrical line running to this thing and we don't wanna die. 
but we'll cut the wires at that point and then we can pull it out. Once I have the wires cut, we can cap them safely and turn the power back on. I'm not licensed or insured. Well, it's been probably about two hours since we last touched base and since we last ripped out the furnace. We have been working in the ba bedroom, bathroom room. Angela is insulating the floor now. After that, we've got to do a lot of careful measurements. We have to measure for the plywood, but also the toilet hole, the sink drain hole, the two water supply line holes and then the HVAC heat duct hole that's all going to be in one piece of plywood I don't look forward to that but I will look forward to having the bathroom floor mostly totally done at that point we are back where we've been uh, next day now and we've rested and we have a little more energy <laughs> I just finished cutting the piece of plywood to hopefully dimensions outside on our little utility trailer also took the time to mark out the floor vent the toilet drain sink drain and supply lines yes toilet supply line yep the sink supply lines i'm going to i think i'm going to drill a hole from underneath the house when the floor is down and fish them up i have a lot more length to work with i've tried to do at the toilet supply line but where the elbow is there's not enough flexibility so we're gonna have to try and thread one two three four needles at once <laughs> for the sink drain i'm going to be using a hole saw and then i've also probably got another hole saw for the toilet supply line however for the toilet drain i'm just going to cut it using the oscillating tool which is what i'll also use for the floor vent <laughs> So we brought the plywood in the house here because all our tools are in here and it's kind of just easier just to cut it in here. So. And it's not as hot. It's not. It feels good outside though. I mean, it's... Okay. Let's okay. go. <laughs> you distracted me. Here we go. Cross your fingers. Staples on the wall. Oh. Can I let go? Oh, yep, I guess we'll let go. Please, please, please! Woo! Wow! <laughs> Thank you, Lord, because that was not me! Look how good you did there! That's not me! It's magic too! Do you need a band-aid? Probably. Wow, no, hang on, wait, 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 we don't need a band-aid right yet, it looks like, oh. would you look at it? I can't believe that. That's the hardest one too, because there's not really anything in the next one. So I mean, look at that. We need to measure measure well, geek honey. out over this. Yeah, you can measure all you want, but stuff like this don't happen every day. You've got some practice in, honey. I'll have you know I'm walking backwards in the bathroom with no fear as long as I don't hit the floor vent or step on a pipe otherwise ha! well I think you did a wonderful job putting four weird holes in that piece of plywood and they all fit it's pretty amazing I'm uh, very happy and giddy that they did though <laughs> now we can move on to the next step uh, which apparently is more creep. We are in the hallway. You guys are kind of where the front door is and this is the little short hallway that goes to the boys bathroom and the boys room. So this here is where the furnace closet was and then we have the boys wall here. We're gonna have to take out both of those along with this door and wall that separates everything from the bathroom 
The reason we're having to take out the walls is the floor, at least in the hallway, we know it has bad spots in it. And since we already have to redo this wall, we're just going to go ahead and replace what we can and know it'll be good. Our plan of attack for the wall is to divide and conquer. I'm going to handle this conglomeration of electrical deadliness, otherwise known as wiring, trying to make sure everything stays intact. We can keep everything juiced up, but get it out of our way. While you... I'm going to take off the doors. That's it? For now. Shh. You watch. She'll take the doors off, then she'll probably hit stuff with a sledgehammer, and there ain't no Maybe. telling. We just got back from taking the load of trash in the trailer and we literally threw away 2,000 pounds worth of material. That was the original bathroom vanity and floor demolition, all the wall demo, toilet, toilet, um, plumbing bits and pieces, and then what we took down earlier today, which was the remnants of separation between demolition construction and where we're living. What we're going to do now is a little bit of tag team. Angela's ready to take a break. I got a little bit of energy, so I'm gonna go ahead and forge ahead with starting to destroy, no, remove the floor that is going to finish out the new flooring for this segment. I say segment because we do plan on doing the front door, but we're not gonna do that just yet. This is gonna give us the ability to put new flooring all the way from the bathroom wall straight across to the other end of the house and replace 99% of the floor we're gonna replace. Mm -hmm. So, you go relax, put your feet up, Get you, I don't know, it's the sweet tea. And I'm gonna go ahead and start making some more sawdust. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> So this floor had been replaced in the past, so it was pretty much easier to take off because you could unscrew it. The other pieces that we've taken out have been rotten, so you could just about pull it out with your hands. But with the oscillating tool, it just makes the job a breeze because you can just cut the staples and go on. So, so far it's not really been bad at all. This is pretty much a breeze compared to some of the other places in the room. That wasn't as fun as it looked. I, I doubt it looked very fun. I don't know, guys. Did, did that look fun? Maybe they need to think, reinvent their definition of fun. Of course, what um, are we doing? The oscillating tool, it's a lot harder to get through plywood, which is what a lot of that was. So. Mm -hmm. Well, you were also hitting a lot of screws, that's all. And just, I mean, it's the way it is. We even put a new blade on there, and we went through a blade. So, just for a frame of reference, Angel did about, we'll say five feet of cutting through plywood, old flooring, and hitting some nails and staples. And that has toasted a $20 carbide blade. Just not complaining about cost, but just, you know, for you to know for reference. It I'm gonna store, pricey. I'll get one blade and do a whole room. Uh, I think we've gone through about five just in this project so far. So, but it also makes the project like it would be so yes, much harder yes. to in my opinion there is no other tool to use um, and if you're not going through plywood like old patch jobs it will go through the press board flooring very super, very easily too breezy yeah. 
super easy. Stuper. <laughs> so stupid, super, stuper. <laughs> there you go. See. <laughs> so we have got the bulk of our floor opened up. We're going to divide and continue to conquer because it is late, and we have opened a can of worms. You are going to do a little bit of cleanup work. Yes. I'm going to measure for blocking. I'm going to need to sister a couple of these joists. Just want them to be strong enough. And so we're kind of going to split. It's going to be hard to film this. So we're going to do our stuff and we'll come back to you guys when we've done some stuff. So More gonna... stuff. Bye. <laughs> I don't know that we really showed these directly. These are the LED work lights that we've been using. These things are awesome. We keep moving them around from place to place to try and give us as much lighting as we can. They're really bright. So what we like to do is drive a screw into the one of the studs, hook it over the little bracket, and then usually hang it to where it points up and bounce off the ceiling. Whenever we did the plumbing redo, I did turn it around so it shone down into the basement and everything, and that was handy. But otherwise, these things are pretty cool, and I think I want a couple more. But just wanted to share that as I'm moving it to this next location and had the thought that I hadn't said anything about them yet. I have to say, I'm pretty tuckered. Sam's getting ready to put down the last piece of, or not last, next to last for today, piece of plywood. It's almost over. This is by far the hardest part of this project. Yes. We have told ourselves that a lot. This is the floor. This is the worst. It will get better. <laughs> All the blocking is done. Now we're going to go ahead and cut the piece of plywood and this will be the last one for this area. This should be interesting because we're actually cutting it in the room here since it's raining outside. Always good to write reminders.
That's it. We are done with the flooring for this area of the home. Yay! We did stop where we stopped because we want to get the bedroom, bathroom, hallway, you know, this side done, and then we'll tackle the entryway. We decided we're going to not creep further into our living room. Right. We were ready to have the boys' bedroom back, but more so just the additional square footage for them to play. I mean, if we keep going, I mean, we're gonna end up going through the whole living room and then literally half of our house is gonna be taken apart. So, yes, we have to stop. Yeah. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this milestone. Um, if nothing else, you can feel relieved that the content will now change. <laughs> we're done talking about floor and doing blocking and insulation and... And believe me, we are happy to be done with it. Yes. And we're pretty much also done with demo. Pretty much. That's fine. Well, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching as always. Leave us a comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. In the boys' room. Bye. It's still the boys' room? Sort of. Yeah. We'll see them wherever we are.